for an $8,000 leather handbag. Should you really own the Hermes Constance? Let's dive in and find out what is the hype of this bag altogether. look into the Hermes Constance bag. The history behind it, the design, the practicality of the bag, and most importantly, is it really worth the investment? All my research is based on my findings online and credits to Sotheby's Auction House for their honest assessment. Let's dive in. So in 1959, Catherine Chaillet was commissioned by Jean-Louis Dumas the artistic director of the Hermes house, to design a new handbag for the fashion house. She created a sleek minimalist handbag with a shoulder strap and an H clasp. Because Chaye was pregnant with her fifth daughter at the time, and in fact delivered her baby the very same day her design had left the production facility. Et voila, the name Constance was given to the bag in tribute to her newborn daughter. The Hermes Constance bag was propelled to fame when the former First Lady, Jacqueline Kennedy, was seen wearing the design so frequently that it was deemed to be her signature iconic style. Apparently, Jacqueline Kennedy was drawn to the bag due to its leather strap, allowing it to be hands-free, and it just showed so much elegance when it was photographed. Now, the Constance is part of the so-called Holy Trinity in the Hermes family. We have the Birkin, the Kelly, and also the Constance. Of course, the Constance bag deserves its own right in terms of quality and craftsmanship. Apparently, a single artisan spends around 14 to 18 hours to produce this bag. And this is really the testament to the quality that Hermes demands of each handbag that it produces. So the Constance comes in a variety of sizes, notably the Micro 14, Mini 18, and the Constance Elan 25. Hermes has discontinued sizes such as the 23 centimeter, 25 centimeter, and 29 centimeter bags. And as you can imagine, these sizes are very rare now and can only be found on the secondary market. Introduced in 2010, the Elan is the most recent addition to the Constance collection with a longer and more rectangular shape. Let me know in the comments below if you have one or two or three of the Hermes handbags in the Holy Trinity and tell me what you think and which bag is your ultimate favorite. So is this bag investment worthy? Okay, so let's talk about some numbers here. So the Constance 18 in leather is retailing around $8,000 and the size 24 in leather retails for $12,000. So a store fresh leather Constance 18 sells for around $13,000 to $18,000 on the secondary market. And that represents a 62% to 125% return on your investment. So pretty good. Of course, the range in resale price is largely due to the availability and demand for some color and hardware combinations. So it's safe to say that the Constance does hold its value very well. But of course, the resale price always depends on its condition, its color, its size, the hardware, you know the drill. And according to Sotheby's research, uh, the resale value for the brighter colors and the smaller sizes have been in greater demand and therefore demanding a higher price. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you enjoy these videos on Hermes handbags and collections, I have a whole playlist of Hermes videos that I've done reviewing the leather, the color, uh, different bag designs and how to maintain and upkeep your bags so that they are in their best condition. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye now.